G'day, this is Simon and James at South OC Cars and Coffee. We got a beautiful day here in Southern California and the cars have shown up. Uh, I don't think I've seen this many Lexus, Lexi, Lex something or other. So many Lexus. What else have you seen, James? We have a bunch of really cool supercars. It's a little, little more quiet in terms of supercars in the last few weeks, but we have a really nice Aventador SV. We have a Ford GT as well, a newer Ford GT, and a bunch of other stuff as well. It is a very, very good day to be at South Sea Cars and Coffee. All right, mate, let's go for a walk and check some stuff out. Let's do it. It has been a while since we've had a Mark II Ford GT here. This car is absolutely nuts. You can see it has the gorgeous silver pinstripe, black paint, the twin turbo EcoBoost V6 putting out well over 600 horsepower. This thing is awesome. Have a look at these two classic Ferraris together. I don't know whether I should grow a moustache and put on a Hawaiian shirt, look like Magnum PI, or maybe put on a white suit and a pastel shirt look like uh, Miami Vice. This is so great to see such great looking cars. I was just having a conversation about these actual two models yesterday with uh, my friend Pete who owns that GT3 Touring I just walked past and showed. Um, there's something about the Tessarosa, this design at the time was really, really different, really aggressive look. Created this whole new fan base of ex uh, exotics. And of course this beautiful Ferrari here, this 308. For me, this is the first of those sort of mid-engine cars that as a kid I noticed and went, wow, that thing looks so cool. Um, I gotta tell you that for me personally, from the Testarossa, it wasn't until probably the 4.5 at Italia that I really started noticing Ferrari again and going, hey, I really love the design that they're going for here. But these two cars, obviously, really, really classic. The only thing missing is an F40 amongst these two, which, wow, that's that's my favorite of this, this sort of whole era of supercar. This thing is awesome, a Shark Blue 718 Spider, one of the newest generations. You can see it's basically just a, a GT4 convertible. You can see this thing is a manual. Looks like it has a little short throw shifter on there. Gorgeous interior on this thing and the paint is absolutely stunning. Looks like it has a set of uh, possibly BBSs on it. This thing is an absolute blast to drive, I'm sure. This is an aerial atom. If you want a track car that you can also drive on the street, this is probably as good as it gets. There are a few cars sort of in this category. There is, of course, the Caterham, there is the Lotus, uh, there is the KTM, and then this guy. Now, if you were a fan of the original Top Gear, you might have seen Jeremy Clarkson distorting his face beyond belief in this little car. Now, they've made some different variants over the years. There's been the, the Honda version that we can see in this car here. They also did a version where they actually took a uh, four-cylinder engine and made it into a V8. Um, and they've done a supercharged version as well. They, the, the story is these things don't actually need a ton of power to be a very quick car because they are so damn light. So if you want to have a ton of fun, you're actually probably best with a with a simple version, the four-cylinder version that you can see in it, which, hey, Honda make great engines. <laughs> Only have to look at F1 in Indy to know that they're capable of doing some cool stuff. So. Great little car, very, very uh, exposed. This one has had the, the uh, acrylic put on the side so you don't get flicked up with things coming in and a little tiny windshield as well that somebody's put on as well. Great little, great little track car though. I was just about to walk past this Bentley and noticed a couple of people looking at the headlights. Check this out, it's like crystals in here. It's like somebody, somebody's bedazzled the Bentley. I mean, if you want bling, there's bling. It doesn't get much much more blingy than that. So hey, if you've got a bedazzled machine and you've got a car with headlights you can pull it apart, you too can have a bedazzled Bentley. Have a look at the inside of this Bentley. I don't think anybody does better interiors than the Brits. They just have this way of integrating class with functionality. First of all, look at this seat. It's not a standard diamond stitch. It's a double diamond stitch, but have a look at the detail that's in this. You've got the perforated leather, but then you've got the diamond around the outside. Bentley logo, the beautiful carbon fiber across the dash. Just, oh, this car is absolutely beautiful. Every angle. I mean, this is this is a, a car that's obviously gonna be a great driver's car, but a great uh, riders car as well. Do you mind like taking me? I could, I could just sit in the back and we could, no. I, I'm getting in here now. 
I'm in the car. I'm. Set, set your head back. Look at. Oh my goodness. If you could just see this, is absolutely incredible. So luxurious. The headrest, like so soft back here. Double sunroof. This is a really, really, really beautiful car. Screen down here. I, I like it. I'll take it. Thanks. So as if having a C7 RS6 in the United States wasn't cool enough, this one has a crazy carbon wide body on it, who I think is from Darwin Pro. This one as well has been imported from the UK for a half mile event that's going on this weekend. You can see this thing is mental. It belongs to Matt Armstrong, who's an automotive YouTuber. Has a crazy collection of rebuilt cars. This thing is just mental. One of the best Lamborghinis ever produced, in my opinion. This is the Aventador SV Roadster in beautiful, I think it's Verde Scandal. This is an awesome car. You can see it has crazy exhaust system down the bottom. Looks like it might be some sort of titanium exhaust. Lowering spring spaces. I mean, this thing is just absolutely wild. Probably one of the best sounding cars of all time, in my opinion, and the looks to back it up as well. This is our latest sponsor, South OC Cars and Coffee Mountain View Adventure Vehicles. And sitting in the Adventure Vehicle is one of my best friends. Hello, Scott. Hello, Simon. Sitting back there. Make sure to click on this QR code that you can see right there, hold it there long enough for you to be able to use. But uh, these guys do a great job of taking a van and turning it into something that's both practical, fun, functional, all that sort of stuff. Uh, as you can see in there, you've obviously got storage, you've got beds, you've got all these sort of great things. Everything including the kitchen sink up here. So make sure to go to our website, we'll have the link up there. This is Mountain View Adventure Vehicles, our latest sponsor of South OC Cars and Coffee. Super clean Z car here, this looks really, really nice. And what I love to see is old school, really side draft Solex on here with the ram tubes. So many guys are putting new motors in these things and fuel injection and, and that's fine for that resto mod look. But for me personally, I just love this thing. It's just the perfect mix of some you know, cool newer stuff like some of the, the, uh, the um, struts and then new radiator and then great looking flares on this thing. Really nice looking seats as well. We'll come around the other side, look at this. And the dash is just great. Have a look at those beautiful instruments. This thing is really, really nice. Very nice build. Just super clean. Look at this interior. How good does that dash look? Those gauges up there, these beautiful seats with that mesh headrest there. This thing is really, really, really nice. This is actually a good contender for car of the week. So if we don't find something else, I reckon it might be this. The pain I felt is painful, all is said and done. A couple of our sponsors up here. First of all, we've got 100 Exotic Rentals. You can check these guys out on our website. Uh, if you want to book yourself an Exotic for the weekend or the week or whatever you want, uh, best bet, check out their Instagram page, which is just at 100 Exotic Rentals. So go check those guys out. And of course, Polestar. More models coming out really, really soon. Lots of announcements. This is actually the update of the uh, Polestar 2. But great company, big, big future with many models coming out. Cool car side by side, starting with this Corvair. Great bright green color on this thing. Modern interior, wood rim steering wheel, some modern gauges in there as well. Then uh, come to the party end, end of this thing, there's that uh, that flat air-cooled motor back there. Next to it, gonna come around this way. Have a look at the size of the wings on this thing. 
This is a Lincoln and it is absolutely huge. Somebody's done some tasteful uh, upgrades to this. Obviously a diamond stitch interior in the sort of uh, traditional colors of the car. But what a cool car. Interesting thing, we'll come around the other side. Big front, of course this would have been considered the competitor to the Cadillac at the time. And just like the Caddies at the time had the magic eye. Don't know what uh, Ford or Lincoln were calling that, but there's the, the uh, device to detect a high beam coming the other way and dimming your lights. So, Cool, very different cars side by side. That is one pretty E-Type Jag, and if you put that colour on everything else, it would probably look old man-ish, but on this thing, it is spectacular. That beautiful champagne gold, that classic, those classic wire wheels with the knockoffs, and then the, the wonderful wooden steering wheel. It is little wonder that Enzo Ferrari said this was the most beautiful car in the world, because I bet at this time, nobody had seen anything like this. Absolutely wonderful to look at, even today. We always love it when we get clubs here and I have never seen more Lexus, Lexi, Lex something or other, in the same place at the same time. Have a look at this. There was well over a hundred. We filled up three rows. We got all of these guys leaving now because it's later in the day, but this row, the other row, all the way through here. Absolutely incredible how many of these guys turned out. Let's go for a bit of a quick walk through and have a look at some of them. That is it for another weekend here at South Sea Cars and Coffee. It was a fantastic day today. The weather was absolutely perfect. Thank you guys all so much for coming out. Please remember, if you're coming to South Sea Cars and Coffee, respect that rules, no revving, no speeding, and no burnouts on the property, driving through the streets of San Clemente and then getting on and off the freeways as well. Uh, I want to give a huge shout out to all the sponsors. We have the Bracketeer, Way Marketing, Meguiar's, Polestar, PDM Brands, Next Level Auto Protection, Happy Jewelers, Reviver, Carbantastic, 100 exotic rentals and then welcoming on as well mountain view adventure vehicles who deck out the craziest overland sprinter vehicles all that kind of stuff as well i want to give a huge shout out to all the volunteers as well we could not put on this show without them if you want to become a volunteer hit us up on instagram at south oc cars and coffee merch so we handle all the volunteer rostering and then while you're over there check out some of the new t-shirts we have Really, really cool new designs, hats, t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, all of the kind of stuff that you guys could want. If you guys are volunteering, you get to bring your car in before 8.30 and then Ruby Zana does also provide a free coffee and donut. Yeah, big thank you to Ruby's for doing that and for feeding the masses as well. And a big thank you to the outlets of San Clemente for allowing us to be here. Remember, if you need to do any shopping, go to a restaurant, go to the movies, come to the outlets, tell them South OC Cars and Coffee sent you. Well, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, follow and subscribe. We'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee. Thank you, guys. Thank you.